what we'll do right now is make a little video that will help you in the state space control methods laboratory assignment so what we'll do we'll make a little simulation in which we'll create a first order system from an integrator so we'll put a mask on the system and then we'll put the system into a library the first thing that you have to do is to create a simulink model so here it is we'll call it first order and then you can open it so you can have access to the library here it is and we're working here in continuous time so you'll find the integrator over here so to create a first order system we will need a gain we'll need a summator so we intend to make a first order block where the parameter the time constant can be changed So here it's in red because the variable is not known yet so this is what you see when a parameter is not known in the MATLAB workspace okay so this will model a first order system this will be the input and this will be the output so what you can do now is select everything and since we don't like to see here add gain integrator what you can do but this is not that important is to put everything to off so now you can select everything and then you can create a subsystem so we have now a system here and we'll call it first order right well we have here the input we can give it a name we'll give it the name input as you can see and we still need also an output and this one you'll find in the six okay let's give it a name and here it is so if we go upwards we have a block with input input and name of the output so it's good to save once in a while and what we would like to do now is to add a mask remember underneath here you have this well time constant t that is unknown so what you can do is right click here and say create a mask this window will pop up and here you can well have a look and then click have clicked twice so I need only one parameter and here this is what will appear this is the text that will appear in the mask window so we'll write time constant t in seconds and this is the parameter underneath the mask and we've used t and then you can initialize to some value in the mask So if you double click now this is what you see what you can do also if you want to edit again so you go over here and you can add some documentation first order system apply okay and this appears right now at the top here of this mask so again it's a good idea to save and what you can do now is to test this block so we go into sources we'll put a step at the input so here you have the step time so we'll put it to zero and then we need a sync so we'll use a scope over here and then again we save and then we can run the model So okay so let's make it a little longer here the simulation because you need five times the 
time constant so you can see here in 25 seconds that you have well more or less reached the steady state so the implementation seems to be okay so what we'll do right now is put here a variable t of course it is unknown and what I will show you is that you can make the link with some well MATLAB script or M file so we'll call it variables and in here I'll write t is equal to 5 time constant in seconds okay so what you can do is run it and so t is available and this one we can save again and normally it should work because as you can see it goes from red to white over here because t is known and it works again so what i would like to do now is that when i well open my simulink file this variable function is run at the same time so what you have to do then is go to the model explorer go to callbacks preload and this preload will actually run this m file variables when you open the simulink file first order so let's do this so this is okay again we save and what we can do now is close we clear all variables so that t disappears right and you're probably not seeing this so we'll do it like this you see there are no variables but when i click on first order the file opens and you can see here now that the well matlab file m file has been run and that the variable is known and now if i run the system it works again so this is how you make a link between a m file a parameter file and a simulink file and this is what i want you to do in your assignment when i receive your simulink files and i open the files all parameters should be loaded in this way what we can do is put this block in a library and add a so-called configurable system so this is what we'll do right now so we'll choose a blank library we'll give it a name so we'll call it first order library and here it is so what we can do now is take our block and we'll put it in the library what we can now do is go to ports and subsystems and add a configurable system and we'll call this one for instance first order process if you double click you can make sure that this block becomes a member of this configurable system so this block can behave as this block and if you then add other blocks well this block will be able to behave like all these blocks that you have here in the library and that have been selected as a member of course the number of inputs and outputs and the names of the inputs and outputs have to be the same for all those blocks so what we can now do is copy this one open our file and replace this one from the block that comes from the library 
If you go and look underneath the mask, this is indeed the block that we had. And if you right click, then you can see block choice here. And of course, we only have one member, so you really do not have a uh, choice over here. But this will still run and produce the response. What we can do now is, of course, add other blocks to the library and make them a member of the configurable system first order process. So what I will do now is add another instance to this configurable system. So what we'll do is take this block over here and simply copy it. There are two things that you have to know when you work in a library. Well, first the library has to be unlocked. This is the case over here. If it's not, well, you double click and you will unlock the library. If you copy and paste a block inside the library, this is block over here first order one is still linked to this one so if you want to make it independent what you have to do is go to link library link disable and then library link break link so this one is now independent of the other one and i'll call it non-linear so what i'll do now is stop the recording and come back to you when it's ready so this block is ready this new block and you can have a look so it's also a first order system but now the time constant has been adapted so you see here that you have a function this function takes three inputs so you need to go and have a look over here to find that kind of function so it's here the one that you see over here that's a you can find it in routing that's a dmux so it allows you to go from three inputs to a vector input so you can see here that you have a constant a second constant for adaptation and what comes in here is a signal the output signal and this function what it does is that it takes t1 and it multiplies it by 1 plus k adapt times the output so you can see here that the time constant becomes really uh, operating point dependent so we have kind of a non-linear system this is just to illustrate right so if we look now at the template and we double click you can see here that there are now two members in the configuration and have made them both active so we can now have a look at the simulation well, you can see here now I've opened the original simlink file. This is the configurable system. And as, I can see, as you can see, if I click block choice, I have now the choice between the original first order system and the new one. I've chosen the new one. And if I double, or if I go here, I can see my non-linear first order system. If I choose block choice first order, what I see is my original first order system so this block can behave as an original first order system or a non-linear first order system so we still have to simulate this to check and this is what you see with this non-linear first order system as the constant k adapt is very small you hardly see anything if i make it larger you should see a difference as you can see.